Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about something serious. <laughs> um, today I'm going to be talking about the issue of allyship. And of course, this did not come out of the blues. Um, there's a reason for me discussing this. And if you follow me on Instagram, I think you may have a clue as to why I decided to talk about this. But if you don't, um, I'm Nigerian, in case you didn't know. And right now in Nigeria, the people have been protesting for two weeks now about police brutality and just the unfair treatment of the um of the special of the special anti-robbery squad which is supposed to be a branch of the police force on the youths of nigeria this has been going on for days now and people are have had enough and they are calling onto the government and to the people to end SARS, end police brutality because we young people you know deserve to live and we deserve to you know, walk on the road without being bothered about, you know, being oppressed and being punished and killed by the people who are supposed to protect us. Yes, that is the origin of this video, but that is not what this video is about. From the title, you already know what we're talking about and it's basically how to be a good ally. So I decided to make this video because I felt like a lot of times people do not do anything or people do not show their allyship, not because they don't want to, but because they don't know how to. So this is a how-to video to be a better ally and I hope that, you know, this helps you. So let's start from the definition. What does being an ally mean? Who is an ally? An ally is a person who uses their privilege to advocate or speak up on behalf of someone who doesn't hold the same privilege as them. You can be an ally in cases of racism, in cases of sexism, in cases of police brutality, and basically social injustice that you can't that doesn't apply to you if you feel like whatever that doesn't affect you doesn't concern you then this video is not for you because i don't know i can't help you but this video is for people who genuinely want to be good allies and who want to be there for people and they do not know how to the first and most important step to being a good ally is to listen and educate yourself listen 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 educate yourself educate yourself educate yourself i cannot overemphasize this enough when people are talking about a social injustice before you before you comment before you say anything make sure that you listen first read up about it people will always talk about it follow um social media handles of people you know the affected parties and the affected groups look out for what they are talking about look out for what they are tweeting a lot of times you know they try to break down what is happening into smaller bits so that other people can understand educate yourself read up about it research about it in many cases um these um these issues will have wikipedia pages read up about it look at what the international media is saying about it read 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 and read what you should not do is to reach out to somebody to educate you don't do that like don't do that do not reach out to someone to ask them oh what is happening educate me it is not their place to educate you besides they are already going through a lot of stuff there's a lot of a mental and emotional you know like struggle that they are experiencing simply because of this fight and you coming to put the burden of educating you on them is just plain lazy and insensitive if you ask me they put these things out on social media follow their social media handles and find out for yourself do the research for yourself do the work okay do the work i can't say this i can't say this enough but you know do the work read up about it yeah i said it do the work and read up about it that's the first thing to do that shows that you know you're actually interested in what is happening and you're looking for ways to you know be updated about it now when you are done now when you have done your research and when you have done your listening and reading up about it what do you do you act yeah like people say allyship is a verb it's not a noun it's a verb it's doing it's action you act on it how do you act on it look out for ways that you can you know help these people tweet about it post about it share your stories about it amplify their voices you should not make it about you 
what you should do is amplify the voices of those who are already speaking about it post on your social media what happens when you post about it is that people in your group know about what is happening people who would normally not have heard about it or would not have known about it get to know about it because you posted it put it up if there are other ways if you have money you can donate to these causes to this protest because protests are not easy let me tell you protests cost a lot of money Yes, people fighting for things shows that there's already an imbalance in the system and this imbalance is followed by um, uneven distribution of wealth or power and which is the reason why you have to put where your money where your mouth is. Donate to these causes if you can. If you can't, that's fine. Donate your voice, share their posts. Now, I know that you could say that, you know, uh, it's not your fight, so why should you go all out? But like I said, this video is for people who genuinely want, do not know what to do, but are willing to do what they have to do. A lot of countries in Africa, when they're fighting, um, against their government sometimes what they do is cut off their internet and when the internet is cut off there is no way that you can you know amplify your voices or there is no way that international media can know what is happening at this point in time what what is required is that people who have access to internet and know what is happening would help these people amplify their voices also a lot of times international media would not organically carry this news or information of what is going on so what you're posting and resharing and retweeting helps doing is to get the attention of international media for a wider reach of what is happening you might feel like it doesn't go a long way but helping a topic trend goes a long way in how it is carried across and how you know how it is addressed so yes you think it's just a post you think it's just a tweet but i can assure you that it goes a long way and it actually shows that you're in solidarity with what is happening now with the people who are experiencing you know these hard times after you have put in the work you can then reach out to the people who are affected now you're not reaching out to the people who are affected to ask them what you can do because i expect you you know to know what you can do by doing your research and doing the things that I have mentioned that you can do. But what you do when you reach out to these people is to let them know that you are there for them, to let them know that you're in this fight with them, to let them know that, you know, you are, you, you are going to do everything that you can in your power to help them. If they are your partners, you can help them by taking up some activities that they would normally do. If they are your friends, if they are your colleagues, help them out, you know, reduce their workload because I can I can tell you that, you know, there's, there's, there is this emotional stress, you know, that fighting for your rights comes with that people will not understand. So when people are not working because they are fighting against an injustice or they are struggling through a protest or they are fighting for their rights, I can assure you that it's not because they don't want to work. And I feel like at that point in time, you should try to be a buffer for them. You should try to be there for them, you know, physically, emotionally, whichever way that you can, just try to show as much support that you can. And you know, try to help them so they don't break down. A lot of times what happens is that people end up breaking down because of the emotional and mental stress that comes with protesting. I can assure you that this is real because around me I've seen it happen. You know, people are protesting and fighting so hard that they forget to, you know, to take time out, to take a break, to rest. They're, they're trying to do everything that you are supposed to do in their normal everyday life and also protest for what it is that you know what the issue is as much as possible it would be nice if you could help them you know like carry some of their bodies if you're their lecturers and they do not submit you know um their homework in time be empathetic try to understand what is going on with them try to help them try to extend their deadlines these little things go a long way in showing the other person that you do care about them that you are there for them and that you will do everything in your power to help them i hope that these tips were practical enough for you to apply um if if you feel like there are other tips that i did not mention please mention it in the comment section so that other people can be educated as well if you have any questions around what i have already discussed you can ask and we'll have the conversation in the comment section thank you very much for watching this video till the end um i hope you find it useful if you do please share it with your friends share it with your family share it with your colleagues share it with everybody that you think would also find it useful yeah so i will see you in my next video